So, you want to hear another story, huh? One where the very fate of Pandora hangs in the balance? If not, too bad, I'm telling you anyway. First, there was the vault. An alien prison opened with a mystical key. To the warriors who opened it, the vault was just a container of tentacles and disappointment. They vanished into the wastelands, certain that the vault held no treasure at all. They were wrong. The vault's opening triggered the growth of Iridium, a priceless alien element. Soon, the rare and valuable mineral emerged all across Pandora. Its appearance attracted many, including the Hyperion Corporation. They came to Pandora to mine Iridium and bring order to the savage planet. Through their excavations, Hyperion uncovered evidence of an even greater vault. Their leader vowed to find it, to use its power to civilize the Borderlands, once and for all. But Hyperion weren't the only ones searching for the next vault's alien power. The call of danger and loot is not so easily resisted. Certain warriors came to Pandora in droves to uncover its hidden secrets. Some would call them adventurers. Others call them fools. But I call them vault hunters. Our story begins with them and with a man named Handsome Jack. Just watch you run in what matters kingdom, who's baddest brother? Won't you stop falling from the little thing? Feeling like you're feeling now. If you one thing is just to please your pride. With my love and not the way I love it. In our support, I ain't gonna cut you. This ain't no place for no hero This ain't no place for no bit of man This ain't no place for no hero To call home This ain't no place for no hero This ain't no place for no bit of man this ain't no place for no hero This ain't no place for no hero 
It's cute that y'all think you're the heroes of this little adventure, but you're not. Welcome to Pandora, kiddos. Great, another Deadbolt Hunter. Handsome Jackson, busy. Wait a minute, you're not dead! Yes! Now I can get off this glacier! Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in! Allow me to introduce myself. I am a CL4P TP steward bot, but my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive, or had existed in the first place. Oh, I've got something for you. Here, take this echo communicator that I totally didn't loot from one of these corpses. It comes with a class 12 heads up display, complete with a mini map. Now, come come friend, let's get you inside. Man, this is great! Now that I've met a mighty bolt hunter, I can finally join the resistance in Sanctuary, take vengeance against Jack for killing my product line, and repair my central processor so I stop thinking out loud! I wonder what it's like to have a belly button. I'll explain everything soon, but know this. You're alive for a reason, and I am here to help you. to walk short distances without dying will be Handsome Jack's downfall. And open! Just a little added security. You gotta keep those bully mongs at bay, or they'll rip your eyes out. Robot. He will help you get off this glacier and into the city of Sanctuary. That is the only place you will be safe. <laughs> Sanctuary. 
that funny little robot's help to reach Sanctuary, the last bastion of the Resistance against Jack, and the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to Sanctuary. Yo! Jack here, president of Hyperion. Let, let me explain how things work here. The vault hunters show up, vault hunter looks for the new vault, vault hunter help, gets killed guys. by me. You see, you see the problem here? You're Head still alive. Goes. So if you could just do me a favor and off yourself, that'd be great. Thanks, Pumpkin. And open! Oh, my eyes are switched back on! I see a tough-looking minion! And an incredibly handsome robot, which means that whoever has my eye is very close. intelligence I'm networked into almost everything on this planet it's a long way to sanctuary please take whatever you need for the journey ahead let me know when you're ready to go meet with sir hammerlock minion Shoot him in the head! 
clean and a hell of a lot less painful than what Hansel Jack will do to you. <laughs> I suppose I am in your debt now, aren't I? Come to my shack and I shall restore Claptrap's sight. First, I shall shut off the electrical fence for you. Please stay back, Vault Hunter. Let Claptrap go first. I knew Hammerlock would come around eventually. Me and him are like two peas in a pod. Two bolts in a bag. Two <laughs> Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. A pleasure to meet you, Vault Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. At your service. I came out here to research the bully mongs for my almanac, but Captain Flint's men trapped me on this glacier. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. To survive a direct run into Handsome Jack and defeat Captain Flint's bandits, unheard of. I'm headed to Sanctuary myself. From what I hear, the Crimson Raiders there could use a hero like you. Now, if you could hand me the robot's eye, please. Guns! I got them, you need them. Now, I need only connect this to this, and... That should do it! Ha-ha! <laughs> I am alive! Oh dear, he's talking again. Megan! Now I've got my eyesight back! And you're far uglier than I remembered! Time to join up with the Crimson Raiders in Sanctuary! This glacier's full of nothing but murderers or jerkbags! Like that hammerlock dude! I'm standing right here, dude. Now that Lyersburg is cleared, I might as well turn on the main power. This town's full of things that may be of use to a go-getting slayer of men like yourself. Minion, roll out! I see our fearless leader Jack is looking for you. Charming fellow, isn't he? Spouts drivel about bringing peace to the frontier, then shoots unarmed men, women, and children like it was going out of style. Ah, I'm spouting exposition again, aren't I? Apologies! Ah, there you are. Come on, work, curse you! Ah, fecal matter. The bounty board's broken. Resistance must have disconnected it before they left the sanctuary. I'd planned to post some jobs for you. Ah oh, well, just speak to me instead. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying Lionsburg? This town used to have a spectacular amount of hustle and or bustle before its denizens fled the sanctuary to escape Jack's army. Most of them, anyway. Captain Flint's men killed anyone who stayed. Hello, mercenary person. I have money and Though no Captain Flint killed everyone in Lyersburg, I see no reason that why a bully mong should lollygag about the place, disrespecting the memories of the former town. If you could clear the town, that would be most gentlemanly. The objectives on your hunt pertain to your active mission. You can change your active mission by using the mission log in your Echo device. Then you can achievement if anyone in Lyersburg was still alive to celebrate your victory, but still, well done! Anybody need some healing?
suspicious. Bullymongs will think twice about raiding peaceful cities in the future. Hopefully. Please make Captain Flint's death as prolonged as possible, would you? Quite the douche he is. Hello. Things need to be shot and... If you're to survive out here for any length of time, you'll need a better shield. I humbly suggest paying a visit to the old Crimson Raider safe house. You'll need to take the elevator up there. Reed, do you see my hat? It is the hat of a gentleman. Yes, it's Mrs. Inspector. Some genocide. I think some bully mong fur might be the kit if you could bring me some. A harvest bully mong fur, you'll need rivets from their hides with your bare hands. Just weaken a bully mong with gunfire, then finish him off with fisticuffs! See about getting you off this frigid glacier. Hey, help. A trillion thanks, Vault Hunter. You've helped a foolish old man look far more badass than he deserves. I'm referring to myself, of course. Would you like to do battle with a midget riding piggyback on a bully mong? The answer is yes. Please proceed to the southern shelf and defeat Mitch Mong for me. If the answer is no, you are sad, and I have no desire to speak with you further.
the train that runs through the dust. If all goes well, we should get to Sanctuary in a day's time. Hyperion hasn't diverted any troops from New Haven to pursue us, and a sandstorm has devoured their nearest frontier town. We just need... Oh, damn it! Everyone, get away from the windows! You've 
discovered one of Helena Pierce's audio logs. She was a lieutenant in the Crimson Raiders, the anti-Hyperion resistance. I'd be very interested to know what became of her. If you could find the rest of those audio logs, I would be more than happy to pay you for them. <coughs> hey, everybody. How are you? Jack here. No animals. What is the meaning of this? Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name? Pierce. Well, Miss Pierce, and please don't tell me it's Mrs. Pierce and break my heart. This train doesn't belong to you, so why don't you turn around and face me, pumpkin? This train was commandeered legally under the... Holy nutballs! <laughs> what happened to your freaking face? Okay, how about this? Lady, I don't even know what to call you. You tell me why you look like you headbutted a belt sander, and I'll let all of you go right now. My husband gave me a skag pearl ring. The pearl released hunger-inducing pheromones. Oh, you know what? I am so sorry. I, I just forgive me. What? Where's your husband now? He's dead. That is a heartbreaker. But you got something in common with him now, at least. Oh, holy crap! Did you see your head? It was like... <laughs> oh my god! We'll help kill these savages. Understood! Handsome Jack killed her, did he? A real shame. Please, return the echoes to me whenever you are capable of doing so. Your eye. Yeah, I'm pretty good. May it help you kill many things. Goodbye, friend. If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. <laughs> Catch you later. Hey, help! It's fine! I'm rocking my brain trying to think of a name for that diamond pony I bought. I, I was gonna call it Piss for Brains in honor of you, but that just feels immature. Hey, maybe Butt Stallion? Nah, that's even worse. I'll tell you what, I'll give it some more thought. I should probably clarify. The diamond horse I've been telling you about? Look into my eyes when I stare at it. you! It's a little horse that actually happens to be made of. Well, actually, I'll just, I'll go get her. Bus stallion! Here you go! Bus stallion! It, it, say hello! Yeah. Bus <laughs> stallion says hello. Light the fuses, bitches!
convince you understand the instructions that I'm relaying to you. Do you understand? I know it's kind of complicated. Whoa! Exterminate! Any 
to build you an extra arm just for high fives. Right in the wing now. Take your time, old pal. Scanning on immobile platforms is what. Your dolls, boys! Let's turn up the heat! Sanctuary is slightly less so. You'll need a car to reach the city gate. Get to the catcher ride. This machine will digital. Wow, I'm not right here. They're up in my grill. High quality. Damn it. Oh, sorry. Uh, darn it. A man named Scooter controls these catcher ride machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catcher ride, I can hack the machine and get you a car. Just attach the adapter onto the catcher ride, and I'll get you a free car. My lady friend! Executing 
please shift. Ending lockdown. Wait a moment while I hack the catcher ride. Cool. Try requesting another car. Destruct a car from any catch a ride station. Now use one to jump that gap. Sometimes I need to so unburdened with things like intelligence, culture, morality, honor, and vision. Good looks. I could go on, but I won't. But I can. Ah, oh, dignity! I almost forgot to mention dignity! Easy, Black Stallion! Grinder, we're only gonna kill every last one of ya! You're never getting into sanctuary, you bloodshot skaglicks! Hold up! I'm a bolt hunter! Hold up! Just a sec. Only wanted to talk to you. Let me echo in. Oh, so you're the one I've been hearing all this radio chatter about. My name's Roland. I used to be a vault hunter, like, until I fought the Crimson Raiders. We'll catch up when I get back to Sanctuary. Yahoo! So now, I need your help. My men tell me Corporal Reese hasn't returned the power core that we need to keep the city shields running. Bring Reese back to Sanctuary, and you'll have earned your place in the Raiders. Roland's contacted you? Listen to what he says. He can help us defeat Jack. Robot fight time! You 
hard shots. This is a message to Sanctuary. The last is all the resistance. Pandora, as you know it, the chaos, the madness, that time has passed. If you let it, this could be an era of order, of peace. Just turn yourselves in, and I promise, your deaths will be quick. Hey, you like my speech? I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend a long time torturing you bandits scum to death. And I'll enjoy it even more because... Hey, I, I, I shouldn't say anymore. I've got a little secret that I... You know what? You don't need it. It'll probably just be this. Yeah. Ciao. face when I'm burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret later on. Once you've earned it. You're the one Commander Roland was talking about. The one who faced Jack and lived. Look, we need your help bad. But first things first, plug that power core into the shield generator. Stop Jack. Chisholm! Stand up straight! We got a Vault Hunter headed your way! Let me get the gate for you. It's an honor. Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. Bully Mong. Rubbish name, isn't it? I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Search some Bully Mong bone pies, will you? I'll learn something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts. This is Hunter Hellquist of Hyperion Truth Broadcasting. The bandit city of Sanctuary has been all but destroyed by internal struggle and the might of Hyperion's noble forces. Handsome Jack's heartfelt pleas to the bandit population have done nothing to stem the tide of death, murder, and corruption that tears Sanctuary down from within. With any luck, could I have a refund, please? This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. Bastion of bandit resistance will be but cinders and rubble before the year is out. Hey, Vault Hunter! If you're gonna be a part of the Crimson Raiders, you better know how to use elemental weapons, don't you think? I just got a crate of spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? I'll see you in the firing range. Fire weapons are extremely effective against flesh. 
but they're crap at destroying shields. Now, burn that imperialist bastard like a skag steak! These Hyperion fascists think See how shields resist fire? If you really want to break a shield, you'll need a shotgun. Take that, Jack Lover! A few good hits from a shock weapon will zap a shield away quicker than you can say buyer's remorse. Mm. Now what else? Ah, armor. Armor targets like these damned Hyperion robots can take a lot of damage. Unless you've got a corrosive weapon. See how the acid eats through the metal? I must confess, I love corrosive weapons. Now, let's try out these new slag weapons. Slag is a bit more complex. No, no, no. Slag him first. Now that he's slag, he should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him again. Great! If you want to purchase any elemental weapons like these, you could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood art dealer. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. Oh, crap! Is it Hyperion? I heard all of you were robots and you eat metal out the garbage and stuff. Knew you wired death machines be come for me once Rollin went missing. Now, if you're here to kill me, you should probably know. You'll never take me alive, you robotic son bitch! Wait a minute. Huh? Well, hang me upside down from a telephone pole, cover me in honey, and leave me to a slow death at the hands of all the spider ants. <laughs> you ain't no Hyperion robot. You're a vile hunter, huh? That's like a unicorn. Don't make me headbutt, man. Now, you gonna help us out with this rolling situation? I heard them Crimson Raider dudes talking about it. Rowan told me if you ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, Plan Turn This City into a Floating House Fortress of Airborne Awesomeness. <laughs> B. I, I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, and you'll need this uh, iridium here, too. Head to center of town and plug those two fuel cells into the ignition parameters. You're gonna need a third, which is why I gave you that here red rock. Uh, you can buy the last cell from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. He ate one of my cars once. Yeah, the whole car. Just like with a fork. Bandits of Sanctuary. I hear a new vault hunter has arrived. Roland said we got. Don't worry, nobody's gonna turn you in. You're our only hope of stopping Jack. Stationed anywhere this nice in the Lance. We'll make it through this. What you want? Just buy something and I'll toss in this crap fuel cell. <laughs> Just touching it made two of my fingers right off. I only accept iridium. Cash is for clowns, boy. Hooray! Why'd you bought something yet? Maybe that helps you kill stuff better. Holy crap! Somebody actually paid for that! <laughs> out of my face! Out of my face! Hey, thanks for grabbing all that stuff for me. Third degree burns are best taken in shifts. Now, to see the fruits of your loins, this city is gonna fly! Roland's place, I think he might have left a message.
there for you. Long Hunter, get in! Rowan left a message for you. I feel like I can take on Hyperion by myself! Hey, soldier. Did you hear this? I'm in trouble. Right now, you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet, and Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts in my safe. You can use it to store anything you need. This is your home now. Good luck. This is the Firehawk. Come to Fosbury Canyon or people will die. The Firehawk? You mean the mass murderer and bounty hunter? Oh, crap! If the Firehawk's got him, Rowan's in deep! You gotta get to Frostburn Cannon and rescue his ass! If Roland has been captured by the Firehawk, he's in danger. You're the only one who can stop Jack, but Roland is the man with the plan, so to speak. He knows the best way to strike at Hyperion. Come on, it'll be fun. Minion, over here. Your master commands you. You helped me reach Sanctuary, Minion, and for that, you deserve a reward. I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am. In order to find it, you have to perform a series of devious challenges. First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat a badass skag. Then, go for the lost staff of Mount Schuler. Then, you shall bring me the head of the Destroyer of Worlds. And then, you shall dance for my enjoyment. <laughs> Son, this might sting a bit. Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerkbag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. All right, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful, we don't want to nick the coronary artery. Close enough. An iridium shard? Oh, for how many times did I tell you it is? You can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. It didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that Tannis lady on the other side of town. She's as I've said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. And iridium stuff, when she ain't acting all hoity toity because she's got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff needs to help! After, After hours, hours of scientific and Oh, God is my witness. One day, I will find a usable spleen. <laughs> Come on back whenever you need some healing. As <laughs> long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapon's causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. And don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also unlike me, he actually has a medical license. <laughs> Start the anarchy. 
bullybongs use those bounds to dispose of their refuse. That suggests a primate level intelligence. That's it. I shall call them primal beasts. I'll run it by my publishers. In the meantime, blow up some primal beasts with grenades, would you? See how the new name works for you. To despise primal beast. Bloody uncultured. All right, what about Thunderbolts? They're the most ferocious creatures I've ever seen, and I say that having watched a thresher rip my arm from its socket. Repressed memories, oh! Anyway, take the new name for a spin. Shoot some of the Thunderbolts projectiles out of the air. See how that name thrills you. Publisher says I can't call them bona fides. <sighs> Maybe Bully Mong's not so bad after all. Come on back. Message begins. Ah! The blood trucks are killing us! Ah! Pre recorded message ends. Found the happy big motel, huh? Yeah, blood shots wiped that place out for good after all and kicked him out of sanctuary. Might be able to turn everything back on if you activate that steam pump. <laughs> oh man, the steam pumps ain't working either. I see your problem. And I'm gonna take this slow so as you can understand, right? That thing's broke as hell. Yeah, better scavenge some replacement parts from the other pumps near the motel. Now, damn bully mons love building their homes on these southpaw pumps. Well, best kill that mong so you can get that part you need. Some scaglet turned off our steam pump. Perforate him! Oh, you got the steam thing, Coop. Ha, <laughs> you went and found the gearbox, huh? Man, those gearboxes sure are the cats on for taking more, as we won't stay around here. Go ahead and plug her in! Hey you! The blood 
shots just crippled my last courier, Dino. I'll pay you if you mail these packages out quick enough. Blast 
those bandits with that E-Tech gun, I've come to a medically sound conclusion. E-Tech is freaking dope. Come on back to me whenever you're done out there. Remember, we're always open. I can still taste her lovely breath. She's making the tears of ecstasy. Liar! I have that! You can stop! <laughs> her natural phase-walking abilities. This naturally leads me to assume some unspoken connection between Sirens, Iridium, and the Vault. I have determined two additional things. Firstly, that she finds it irritating when others pluck out strands of her hair under the guise of needing them for scientific experimentation. And secondly, that they taste like olives. Wait, no, fried pickles. I'm 
Gopher brains evidently don't know how to listen. I'll say it again. Stop bringing in fake sirens. Only six sirens can exist in the universe at any given time, and I already know of three. You're not going to convince me you happen to find one of the remaining three just by drawing blue tattoos on some random chick's corpse. No, like, I will admit it was wildly amusing the first dozen times you idiots tried it, but now my office smells like blood and marker fumes. So quit it! Feeling overburdened by money. Pleasure doing business. Don't die, I... We're not going to be able to stop Jack. <laughs> Bullymong's still rubbish, but I'll come up with something better while I'm on the old. Have it as a beer. I don't care what you buy. You buy something. I was supposed to be studying the effects of these tech guns on bandits. Right now, it looks like, uh, it looks like if you shoot them a lot, they die. <laughs> oh, did I mention that I don't have a medical license? should be around here somewhere. Stay alert. That's weird. The bloodshot bandit crowd seems to be attacking the Firehawk's lair. They probably left landmarks for their reinforcements. Those should lead you to the Firehawk. That or just follow the screaming. Step off, Vault Hunter. This is between the bloodshots and the Firehawk. Once my boy's bring his ass back to me, he's gonna pay for every bloodshot he killed. This is unusual. Well, that was. Keep going, going, bloodshots. That demonic thing will rule the goddamn day it messed with us. We're gonna make the fire hawk chop to death on his own feces. Dear, ew. such a dumbass in the first place, you would... Whoops! Almost spilled the secret! Let me explain something. Even if you do rescue Roland from this Firehawk guy, the Crimson Raiders ain't exactly long for this world. You know what? I think you deserve a little hint. My secret involves your pathetic resistance dying, and me laughing. <laughs> a lot. This is it, the Firehawk's hideout. Be careful, friend. There are bound to be traps everywhere. See? Traps. Don't let that happen to you. Eat metal, Dad!
sound of those earthquakes marks my drills getting closer and closer to the vault. That's the sound of progress, baby. Cover that one! How you doing? The bandits call me the firehouse, but the name's Lilith. I'm with the raiders, like you. I keep the bandits in line so Roland can focus on taking down Jack. Anyway, long story, lots of internal bleeding. Could you help me up? Oh, I need a pick-me-up. Give me some Iridium, will ya? I should have some in one of my strong boxes. Appreciate Yeah, that's the stuff. Give it here. Ugh, thanks. Bet you're looking for Roland, huh? He's not here. The bloodshots grabbed him. Made him cocky, too. They never came after me this hard. Murder time! They're in here! Get them! <laughs> now the real fun begins. I'll, I'll see if, if I, I can't fade blast a few of them for you. Well done! <laughs> Uh, yeah, since the vault opened, my siren powers have been getting a little awesome, thanks to this iridium stuff. No idea why. Now, let's talk about rescuing my boyfriend. Well, X, before the bloodshots grabbed, Roland was getting intel on the vault and what Jack plans to do with it. You have to find him. I gotta head back to Sanctuary, keep the city in one piece while Roland's away. 
But first, I'm gonna teleport you into the Bloodshot Stronghold. That's where they're keeping Roland. You'll catch him by surprise and have a real advantage. It'll be great. Hold still. I just moved you, like, ten feet, didn't I? Sorry. I'm still getting used to this. Reminds me, though, Bloodshot Stronghold is full of real tough customers. You might want to train a bit before you take them on. You're doing good out there, by the way. Keep it up. All right, killer. I'm back in Sanctuary. Be careful. The bloodshots have camped out all around the dam. You'll want to get a vehicle to soak up some bullets for you. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. Come back huh. Nobody seems to be around. Just drive up and honk your horn. Maybe this won't be so hard after all. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening the gate. Hold it, idiots! That don't look like one of our technicals. They're here for a hostage. Get them! Oh, howdy! I didn't see you there. Name's Ellie. My brother Scooter told me you was coming. Don't get many visitors around here, especially not ones that eat. Trying to rescue your pal Roland from the dam, huh? I bet you could fool those blood shops if you drove up in one of their custom trucks. I got one right over yonder that I... Crushed with the driver still inside. My bad. Well, I got a vanilla technical in the shop, but most of the parts we need. Just got to doll it up with some more of the bandit's trimmings. Spikes, blood, schools, that kind of thing. You could probably scavenge that stuff from the bandit patrols around here. You'll have to blow up some bandit cars and grab the crap from the wreckage. And don't pay them any mind if they start calling you names. This makes killing them that much more fun. Ah, so you and my sister are getting along pretty well, huh? That's cool, that's cool. Of course you make it. That's one part now. Thank you. 
you can construct one of those bandit-looking things from any of my brother's catch rides. Come back and see me sometime, you son of a bitch. And tell have you seen those hood ornaments the Hodunks made to me? I think they're trying to mock me or something. But that design is bad ass. always told me if I slimmed down, men would pay me more mind. Shows what she knows. I got these boys bending over backwards just to get my attention, and I didn't have to do nothing. This all kind of reminds me why I came out here in the first place. Lived in sanctuary for a while, but Moxie kept hassling me about working for her, putting on makeup, losing weight. I just got sick of her nagging and came out here to make it on my own. That, and I was worried Scooter might have a crush on me. What? <laughs> Man, would you look at that design? Like an eagle soaring through the midnight sky. Program, Only the eagle's not 300 pounds with a kick ass rack. And I ain't getting robbed again. An interior design. Hell of a day. Goose! Goose! <laughs> I can... I'm in the danger zone, man. My buddies kicked me out of their gyro squad, and now they're celebrating with a round of psycho head volleyball. Steal their balls and burn their net.
almost got everything. Don't bug out now. Great. Now douse their volleyball net with fuel and nail those. They kicked me out because they thought I was just. That must have buzzed their towers. No more sweaty slow motion volleyball for you jackasses. I got the need. The need to see. should be around here somewhere. I'm sure you can handle yourself, but if anything happens to Roland, make sure nothing happens to Roland. Marcus Mutations. I'll survive! No one none of this, Murder! You are a mean machine! 
Vault Hunter. Good to finally meet you in person. Hell of a job fighting through those bloodshots. This'll just take a second. Well, that's that. Now let's see about getting out of here. Vault Hunter! You gotta stop this thing! Let go of me, and damn it! That's how handsome Jack pays ransoms! Vault Hunter! No Soldier! This way!
Meet me back at Sanctuary. I got a plan to stop you. You saved Roland. This planet's been waiting for a hero like you. Thank goodness Jack didn't send Wilhelm. How the hell did those bandits snag you, anyway? Oh, I was taking a leak. One of them knocked me out. Handsome Jack is gonna kill us all unless you can stop him. He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. Right. Right. Sorry. Hi. Hi. I'll be honest, soldier. We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop Jack for years. Taking out his men, raiding his iridium mines, but it hasn't been enough. But you... You met Jack and lived. You fought off the Rippers and the Bloodshots. Saved my ass and Lilith's. Thanks, by the way. If we're gonna survive this, we need your help, Vault Hunter. Now, we thought Jack wanted to open a vault and use its power to wipe us off Pandora. But, thanks to some intel I stole from a Hyperion convoy, I found out we were wrong. What? He's not gonna open a vault. He's going to control it. I'll just go ahead and repeat myself. What? Now that's the vault Jack's looking for isn't an alien prison or a cache of weapons. It's a living thing. An ancient Iridian warrior, powerful enough to destroy all life on Pandora. Whoever awakens it, gets to control it. That sounds bad. If Jack wakes the warrior, yeah. But if we control the warrior first... We could use it to wipe Hyperion off the map. Alright, I'm liking this plan. There's a problem. We need the vault key to wake the warrior, and Jack's already got it. But if you've spoken to Tannis... She didn't vomit when she saw you, did she? She does that sometimes. She might have told you the key needs to be charged with Iridium. We're racing against time. Every ounce of that stuff that Jack mines from the ground puts him closer to taking control of that warrior and wiping us out. We've got to get our hands on that vault key. Now, if anybody knows where that key's being kept, it's my spy out in Tundra Express. He's as good at gathering intel as he is at drinking. So I'm sure he's sleeping off last night's booze right now. You'll need to get a fire weapon to wake him up. I'll explain when you get out there. If you don't have a fire weapon, Marcus might sell him. Hey, I got a job for you. <laughs> so why so kind of inspired a cult? And not the fun asking for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're planning anything shady. I do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they saw their god in person. Go talk to the cult leader, Incinerator Clayton. You will help me. A group of mutant test subjects escaped the Hyperion Preserve. As amusing as it might be to see them attempt to reintegrate into society, they must be put down. You will need a way to lure them out. Head to Moxie's and acquire some bait I have ordered. Good. The escapees, for whatever reason, find pizza irresistible. You will lure them out with this pizza, then murder them. Have you heard of these insect things called Varkids? Allegedly, the buggers, that's a pun, you see, will morph if they take enough damage. Could you take this evolutionary injector, please? Norman Landsman working for a bull. Trust me. Wait! Lovely. I'd like you to force a few Varkids into morphing. While they're in their cocoon state, hit them with the injector. I am Incinerator Clayton, and you. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk and return unharmed. If you truly wish to serve our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the Eternal Flame! Then collect their ashes and return them to me. Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it. 
which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. themselves and that Scorch guy. Maybe we should just leave him alone. The Enkindling is almost upon us, Torch! But the Firehawk spoke to me in a dream and demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Matchstick. You must take him to the Soaring Dragon in the Southern Shelf and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. The sky lit up with Matchstick is our most devoted brother. He's immolated more than a hundred people for the Firehawk. With nothing more than an incendiary pistol and the strength of his belief. A hundred people? Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? These guys really are just sitting around burning one another for giggles. Maybe we don't have to worry about them. That'd be nice. She is coming! The time is almost at hand! We will be together, Firehawk! Finally, we'll be together! Get to the incinerator console and give him what he wants, I guess. I feel your embrace, Firehawk! I love you! I love you so much! That was kind of weird.
Thank you, Torch. It is time for the enkindling of Torch. Time to sacrifice heathens to our blazing mother. Clayton said the enkindling? That could be very bad. Or it could be like a cookout or something. Just keep an open mind about it. You have done so. The preparations are complete. Return to me and let the human sacrifice commence! Okay, that sounds pretty evil. Just head to this enkindling thing. If things get creepy, I'll make an appearance. Be careful. <laughs> so well, Torch. Now, pull that lever and commence the enkindling!
Unfortunate the mutants, mutants could not, could be, not be, tamed. be tamed. They would have been useful allies. Friggin' cults. to your footage before payment can be processed. 
Leave the echoes in the attached dead drop locations. Find those echoes, killer. If Hyperion finds out I'm alive and working with the Crimson Raiders, it could be New Haven all over again. I like this place. Hyperion shouldn't be able to find you here. Thanks. I tried to make it very... Gruesome? I was gonna say cozy. You've strapped charred bandit corpses around the entrance. Mm. Corpses can be cozy. Kind of like our place in New Haven before... Um... Yeah, I'm going now. <sighs> Suave, Lilith. So what's the emergence? I... liquefied a guy. Come again? I was out hunting and... I found some of that iridium stuff and one of those weird worshipper guys sees me and I chase him down and grab him and he just... Liquefied? It was... awesome. I don't know if it's because of the vault opening or being a siren or both, but this iridium stuff is the tits. You look really pale. Yeah, I passed out a few times, but this could be huge. Okay, but why not just send an echo? Why call me out here and increase the risk of Hyperion finding out you're still working with the Crimson Raiders? I uh, um, because you, how, how are you doing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave now. Okay. <clears throat> Jack just left him for dead in the snow, evidently. The raiders could use the help. You should track them down. Another vault hunter, huh? I'll see if I can contact him by echo on my way back to Sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one-woman war on every bandit in the tundra, so you can focus on taking down Jack. But hey, if you want to hang out, I can just give up this Firehawk thing and let the bloodshots overrun Sanctuary. Uh, no, no, uh, no you're, you're right, of course. Are you sure? I can make cocoa. We can talk about boys. I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just talk to you once I find the Vault Hunter. Yeah. I'm sorry for... Well, I'm sorry. Play hard to get. That's how you do it. Thanks. The less Hyperion knows about me, the better. You didn't, uh, listen to those echoes, right? Let me know if anything catches your eye. You'll have to signal our man. I bet anything he's sleeping off a hangover, so you'll have to wake him up. The sound of some VAR kids burning alive at the same time ought to do it. You got a fire gun, right? Set some more on fire before that. So loud, so angry, so dead.
Challenging kill. Trophy for my wall. Turn to me, please. I'm an even better shot when I'm drunk. Mushy 
snuggle bites, and this is Felicia's sexo pants. These fine-ass women's could stop that train for years, but I'm gonna need their badonkadonks first, and they got stole by the bandits a few days ago. Go get them! I know Tina can be odd, but she's the most gifted demolitions expert on Pandora. Just do what she asks, and I guarantee she'll help you hijack the train and get the vault key. Von Bartlesby's disposition. Robot fighting time! Shh. Sir Reginald is only one of the many illustrious guests oh. who will be attending my tea party. I have also invited Princess Fluffy Butt, who has gazongas hey. like you would not believe. You'll be rounding her up later. Crumpets is gonna 
gonna be a in the men's Get, time for the party you're gonna be the waiter hit mr <laughs> <laughs> i bet your mommy and daddy screamed as they died when you're ready to start the party please smack mr fleshstick in his bitch face a 
appropriate team for this conversation. Mr. Sparks? <laughs> That's one way to hijack a train. The Valky's still up on that ice shelf. Better climb that wreckage to get there. Climb the pipe to the train, or you'll go insane. What, what? That's a rap song I wrote. Search the train cars. They're probably keeping the vault key in the most fortified one. And no questions asked. Lovely. Farewell, friend. Let's just get this out of the way. Yes. Not the star.
to be even stronger than them. Well done. We can't lose. A gang of low lives is out prospecting for Iridium in the Tundra Express. I want you to find out why they're mining the stuff, and I want them dead. Order doesn't matter. Yo, 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 let's... Lou told me there's a train full of money comes around here. Sounds like a job for a high explosives, am I right? Am I right? 
Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in, and we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned train robbery. Bandits used this station to rob passing trains. You're gonna have to use it to steal the bandits' payroll. Gotta love the irony. Use Tina's dynamite to blast the exit gate and block the tracks. Good. That'll leave the train nowhere to go. Now all you gotta do is signal Hyperion and make like you're ready to sell some Iridium. Trade request received. Payroll train dispatched. As much as I hate using Hyperion tech, that cord you brought us earlier is nearly burnt up. Why don't you pop it out? Now shove in that new core you found harder than a shiv into a Truxican sternum. Sorry, old Crimson Land saying. Okay, I think we're in business. What the hell? Hey, you know, I think it's finally time to tell you that little secret. Angel's working for me. Lowering Sanctuary's shield, Jack. Executing phase shift. That's not a power core! Raiders, the shields are down! The shields! Nicely done, Angel. Now, let's kill ourselves some Vault Hunters. What the hell? Did something just get through the shield? She is down, Roland! Oh man, somebody start getting everybody underground! Everybody? I've got a really bad idea. I'm pretty they sure we can't do that without killing, I don't know, everyone in the city. I don't want to That's your order, Scooter. Move! Meet me in the center of town! Now! All right, we're proud! Everybody get ready! Soldier, I can't get the iridium to Lilith. Get to me, quick! I need that iridium. Get to Roland. Get moving, or we're dead. You only survive. You've got the iridium. I need it. Get to the center of town. I've never used this much. You might want to hang on to something. Sorry, kid. That was an accident. I'll see you on the other side, though, I promise. Hit it, Scooter! <laughs> Man, this is one of their moments! Catch a ride! That's 
the best you got? A flying city? Or what did you jumps possibly have that makes you think you've got a chance against me? A siren. Suck. I know you're angry at me right now, but we don't have a lot of time. I'll explain everything. Just get to the fridge. It's the only way to reach the highlands. I detect Lilith might have phased your city there. I love the way you vault hunters just up and trust an angel. <laughs> Never occurred to you that she was working for me, did it? I did the same thing to the last four Vault Hunters, but I'll, I'll be entirely honest. Tricking you guys this time? Way funnier. Hey, thanks for taking the bait and grabbing that power core. It was hard to concentrate on charging the Vault Key what with Roland's bodies attacking my Iridium Mines. The Crimson Raiders need our help! Roman's been having trouble with some bloodshots and freehorns. He just wants them dead, but I've got a much better plan. We'll freeze them out. Get out to the bandit camp and destroy their furnaces. Without heat, they'll be too cold to fight anybody. Here, take this blastomite and put it on their furnaces. I still can't believe you didn't get my chill-out joke. A fantastic day for capitalism. May it help you kill many things. You'll be able to reconnect with your friends after you get through the fridge. Son of a witch. The 
door's iced over. Let me help you with that. I've been following Jack's orders from the beginning. Jack modified the power core you found to have a Hyperion network uplink. Through it, I was able to access Sanctuary's defenses and lower them. It was all part of Jack's plan. Five years ago, I tricked Roland and his friends into opening the vault. I told them it was to protect Pandora from a great evil. That was a lie. Jack knew he could make a fortune off the Iridium held within the vault, but he was too much of a coward to open it himself. Through me, he got the vault hunters to do his dirty work. I'm so tired of manipulating people. Without you, Pandora has no hope. You have no reason to trust me, I get that. But if you're going to stop Jack from controlling the warrior, you'll need my help. Because I know where the key is. Yeah. It's with me. <laughs> Sanctuary's reappeared. You can use any fast travel station to get back to the Crimson Raiders. I'll mark the nearest one on your Echo device. Error. Location? Sanctuary. Not found. Oh no. The phase blast must have taken Sanctuary off the fast travel network. Um... Okay. Head to the Iridium extraction plant nearby. I think I know how to get you back to your friends. You know, I didn't lie to you about everything. Number you five really are the only person who can stop Jack. Roland, Lyric, and Mordecai. He defeated them long ago. They can help you reach him, but in the end, it will be you who brings Jack down. If you can cross the river and steal a supply beacon, we can get Sanctuary back onto the fast travel network. I promise. Little as I'm sure that means right now. Remember your three governing laws. Jack is your god. Dressers are your enemies. And both consider you disposable. Darn. That exploder took out the bridge controls. Find another way across the river. Hyperion machines are discouraged from being adjusted by the Thresher population. <laughs> Thank you. 
You can use that to get Sanctuary back on the fast travel network. Simple. Except not at all. mining operations. The people of Overlook suffer from the skull shivers. They won't disturb us. Oh, this is so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just don't die quickly. Man, uh, example. This one guy in New Haven, right? City's burning. People are dying left and right. Yada, yada, yada. This jackal rushes me with a spoon. <laughs> a freaking spoon. And I'm like dying laughing, right? So I scoop out his stupid little eyeballs with it. And his kids are all Wah! And I, I can't even. Oh, he, can't, he can't see where he's going. He's bumping into stuff. And I, anyway, I don't know. Maybe you had to be there. The moral is you're a total bitch. It's transmitting the supply request now. We've just got to wait a few minutes and... Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel? We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping him anymore. Defend that beacon. Now, if you can't even handle these loaders, you're really gonna disappoint me. Start the stack. Fast travel station request received. Estimated processing time, three to six weeks. No, 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 no. Move some data around, see if I can bump you up in the queue. Angel, what the hell are you doing? I've increased your request priority. Tilo Junction can live without medical supplies for another few months.
The lunar engineers denied our request. I'll see what I can do. Send in the constructors. I want those bastards dead now! Just shut off the moon base's oxygen supply. I expect the engineers will launch your fast travel station very soon. God damn it, Angel! What are you doing? Those are the bad guys! I'm sending everything I have at you! Every day! Welcome, Caliban. Hyperion wishes to remind you that it could be unworthy. First of all, it's The city may be safe right now, but what happens if Hyperion launches another barrage? We've got no shield. Oh good. You're not dead. That's right. Right. Sorry. We'd all be dead if it weren't for you. But we need a plan. Jack's getting closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key stashed. I can help you with that. You? Damn it, we told you never to contact us again! Will you please just hear me out? Sure. Let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault was full of loot? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. Continue. The key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient, but he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with iridium. If you find me, you find the vault key. The vault key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Competitor deterrence field? What, like a death wall? It is a field of pure thermosonic energy programmed to atomize any unauthorized personnel. So yeah, a death wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle. A defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle. A door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. This will be your only opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. I'm out of time. 
Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap, she would have made it sound a little bit possible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming. Trap or not. If anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you, soldier. Head to the Hyperion Preserve. I think I know how to get past the first hurdle. Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself deputized. Uh, ask around at Moxie and Zans, figure out which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger. Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all and I don't got that kind of time. I heard a gunshot a couple of hours back. Naturally, I ignored it until someone came and got me. Uh, I found this boy bleeding onto the concrete, a uh, single bullet in his throat, and when I saw one of these gutter boys running away. And that's all I know right now, more's the pity. Sure, I pulled the round out of one of them gutter boys. I healed him up as good as new, but the little skunk overpaid me. Six thousand, five thousand bucks. You don't need to confiscate that or anything, do you? A gutter brother? Oh yeah. One of them barged in here a couple hours ago, demanding safe haven. I told him I couldn't make any promises, and he got bitchy. I had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. His shield ate the first two, but boy did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. say so. Yeah, I did it. I ain't sorry. Why don't... Man, good job, deputy. Marlowe thought he could snipe an innocent man and get away with it. But that was a long Sorry, I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love, though. My purely platonic love. Don't want him getting any ideas. <laughs> Clap is having a shindig? You know, I'd go, but I ain't gonna. Come on back, buddy. It's time to start the party. All right. The guests should be arriving any minute. I'm sure everyone just got <laughs> lost. This place is kind of hard to find. Feel free to mingle with, uh, nobody. Uh, there's, um, some pizza, if you're hungry. <laughs> Pizza's kind of cold. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, right. I don't have love. Minion, can you blow into this thing? Maybe liven the party up a bit? Yay! <laughs> you enjoying the party? Well, uh, I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for, um, thanks for coming to my party, Minion. It, uh, looks like I bought way too much pizza. So, uh, take some home if you want. That was the best party I've ever thrown! Got some work for you. Shorty must die! That crop blocker d when I catch a ride. You know they got that. Those ladies don't want to bang and sometimes they when I'm drunk. He's hiding in stalker territory. Go get him! It may be a load of crap, but hell if it isn't entertaining! A few years back, I won two prizes in Moxie's Underdome. A chest full of loot 
and Moxie herself. I lost the second prize to Jack, and the first to a thief named Carson. I don't care if I never see those guns again, but if you want them, just find Carson in the dust. Hello. You're wondering why I don't go out into the field. The answer is old Slappy, a thresher that nearly killed me. Science demands I forgive it. Vengeance demands I kill it. Today, my friend, you will be my vengeance. Take my hand. Old Slappy removed several of my limbs the last time we met. One hopes the scent of my extremities will bring him out of hiding, make him eager to finish the job, as it were. Plant my hand outside Slappy's lair in the Highlands. I've got an opportunity for you. Jack blasted, Jack blasted my, my personal, personal safe out of my own store. store. My, my most precious treasure could be in the hands of some freeholding bandits by now. now. Head, Head back, back to that city size tall in the ground and get, get my, my safe back. back. Lanceman! Attention! If you could stand some people, who are not me, might consider slag experimentation immoral. Some people would not be willing to pay you a great deal of money for bringing me experiment results from the Hyperion Preserve. Some people are stupid. How you know my girl, Lenny? She perfect, man. Blonde. Great body. Distantly related to me. Great body. With them free dress, brainwashed her. You gotta snap her out of that cannibalism crap. I don't wanna get bit. Bring Lenny her favorite flowers and food, and I'm sure she'll come around and stop biting. Oh! And if you find any porno mags, I'm just saying if you come across them in a natural accent, just snag those for me too, okay?
Come on back. Pay me 
formation near the alien ruins, but it started Attaboy! moving. The creature appears perfectly peaceful. I don't think it's ever seen a person before. Blue! Not now! Here! Go 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 there you go, Blue! We're calling it Blue because of the color of its, uh... Nice yeah. Boy. We saw a couple more of these creatures hiding near the ruins. I recommend moving the dig site for obvious reasons. Security Officer Booth, signing off. Miss Booth, while your concern for these creatures is noted, we shall not be moving the dig site. The Doll Corporation has sent Sanctuary, the greatest mining ship to this godforsaken planet, to mine crystals. And you have found some. Please round up the creatures so that my mining team may extract their minerals. This is getting good. Now, unless anyone from the late Ms. Boo 
lose. Has anything else to say? Bring me my goddamn crystals! Only once. Your job is to escort the rock chunk to the mineral smasher and deliver the iridium to your supervisor. If you are caught stealing precious minerals from the dig site, you will be shot. <laughs> Yeah. 
You know, not to stifle your menial victories with deep and light thought, but one must assume a deeper connection between the demon spewing vault and the limitless iridium in this planet. Perhaps someday I will uncover these secrets and Further down the line, invent a dance based around sneezing. you dispatch those r robots we of the town of overlook thought you might give us a hand so to speak so first item on the agenda we're all dying of a brain disease could get us three shipments of medication we would live which uh, would allow me to keep paying you our m medicine machine needs a new battery please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery God damn it, some jackhole broke the clock tower! How the hell am I supposed to know what time it is now? You found the battery. Plug it into our medicine machine and buy some skull shiver medication. Plate, thank you, but we need two more medicine shipments. The next is carried by a traveling Hyperion requisition officer wandering the highlands. Get the medicine from him. Without his guards, I'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine. I Suggest killing them politely if possible. Sorry about Dave. He's a... Uh, we 
try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork. Now that our brains aren't going to rot from the inside, let's move on to point two on my agenda. Revolt. If we are to shake off Hyperion control, the town will need a shield like sanctuaries to protect it from moonshot blitzes. If you could donate some shields to the town, I could scavenge them and build us a shield. Just drop whatever shields you no longer want into the grinder. Yes, just like that. A few more shields and I'll be able to build us a defense shield out of the parts. I was a computer engineer before Overlook's old administrator died and left me in charge. Karima, you can't make us no techie shieldy thing. He was a woman. Now, if the town needs someone to make us a big old sandwich, then we call you. Your feedback is appreciated, David. Thanks for the gear, stranger. I'm ready to build the shield now. Grab the scrap and bring it to me.
I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of sanctuary citizens. I have uncovered legends of an ancient alien warrior. The legends tell of a magical key that can bring it back to life. If my hypotheses are correct, which they always are, the legends may be speaking of the vault key. Also, a young man told me I was pretty on my way back from the grocers. The action was surprisingly tame. I only spent the next three hours dry heaving into a bucket. Yesterday, I had a conversation with another human being. Granted, it was only a conversation in as much as my grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet, if he has the key. I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay. Just ordered some serious merchandise from an arms dealer. Man's got to protect his business after all. I'm gonna need you to pick up the shipments quick as you can. An old boyfriend of mine, name of Taggart, was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the Highlands. You'll find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Nobody says that. I say it. in my P.O. box, and we'll see if that arms dealer lives up to his reputation. Now those are some pristine Well done. Well, there's a joke somewhere about how those cost me an arm and a leg. I can't think of one right now, of course, but uh, I could sell those for a fortune. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Chapter Best 1. robot ever! Okay. I punched a stalker so hard it turned inside out. End of chapter one. It is a known fact that stalkers find echo recorders delicious. You'll likely find the rest of Taggart's chapters within piles of stalker defecation. Chapter two. 
Jack was a kitty. He stalked her things or something. I pounded one right in the throat with my thumping hammer, just like Mom taught me. And it pretty much exploded. It made this hilarious noise like... Thank <laughs> you. 
to the Zafford family. You, you didn't see the bastard who destroyed my distillery, did ya? Let me get you a drink. Do not quest or walk. Hodungs destroyed my distillery. That's it. The truth is all. You, Vault Hunter. Let's talk. 
You gonna help me get them Hodong bastards? Good. If there's anything they love more than getting to second base with their sisters, it's cars. I want you to get out there and ruin their race. Come into the basement. Shot to death. Just a bad You picked the right family in this war, boyo. Ages back, one of the Hodungs drowned a few Zafford boys in the creek bed. After an ex-Hodung killed the boy Lucky a few years back, we made a truce. But after what happened to our distillery, it sounds like the war's back on. You ever listen to Skag, Phallus? The rock. Spotted some help. My weapon machine. The old ones do one of these races every so often. I want you to place them charges on the fireworks they were on the track. When they set off the fireworks, it'll make for some proper violence. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. That there's the bag man. Follow him to the cash 
this dish, but don't get too close. I'm telling you, boss, I ain't dying. I know, and if you think about it, you're going to be now and now, my boy. But the friend has been coming out with a loud tongue against that savage. I got another job for you, boy. Meet with my man out in the dust. He'll give you the details. Yeah, fight! 
as they burn, burn their, their homes, homes, to the homes to the ground. You're gonna crash their annual way for their death. Boy, 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 look, the Zephyrs won't let you leave the way to get sober, though. There's a bar in the sanctuary run by a traitor we hold on to don't talk about. Go there now, get wasted. You listened to my notes, I assume. I would be upset were it not for the equally privacy-indifferent background check I ran on you before hiring you for this job. I hid, I the, hid copious the copious material I compiled, material I compiled, after, compiled opening after opening the vault those, those fires ago. In a fit of spastic, a fit of spastic paranoia, paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. To the information. Find it for Find me, it for and, be me and be handsomely. Oh, were you oh, expecting, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? rewarded? I've been relocated to Sanctuary, against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. I should discuss the Sprolophant in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the Destroyer, not to be confused with the Warrior. Seriously, they sound nothing alike. Oh, right, torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As, As they, they cut into my flesh, flesh over and over, and I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Thorpe was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling. But he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Philippe! I just... Philippe was so brave! He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Thor cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was, I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. It's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clork prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. Thanks again, man. That catch right hacking you did is all in the past. I will definitely not kill you, probably. Freaking rats, man. I was this close to finding out second base feels like. And I know what second base is. Did I ever do my own man as the real monster speech for you? Comes to mind. Thanks, Thanks sugar. sugar. I've been, I've been meaning to upload, upload these, these to the, to the Echo, Echo Net. Ah! The, the chronicles of my torture. torture. I shall, I shall warm, warm up some up cold, cold, cold cocoa, cocoa and listen to these again. Sugar. I don't care what you buy, just buy something! Look at that booze. Sanford's won't let you into the bar unless you're so drunk that Annie looks like she's got Moxie's curves. Fresh! Sorry, Paul! Yeah, we don't talk about those heathens while left the clan. My mistake. Wow, you really know how to throw those back? <laughs> looks like you've had enough. Sorry, Sugar, but I'm cutting you off. I must go now. You see a double yet? Get inside the Zafford bar before the booze wears off! Come on, then. The wake's just stopped. Take your time. Find a good spot to start shooting. Kill them all. We are going to Smith not there? Ah, the freak was probably out getting more booze. Ah, well. 
That's right, Slappy. You smell it, don't you? That's the scent of a gentleman. Scientifically, murdering old Slappy was simply a bad idea. Vengeance is strictly a... I bet your friend Claptrap could get through that Hyperion force field. Now he's out of date though, he'll need a software upgrade. Mordecai should have what you need. He's camped out near the preserve. I think he needs your help with something. I'm an even better shot when I'm drunk! Feeling overburdened by money. <laughs> about Sanctuary. You all right? You all right? Sorry, Sorry I missed the action. I saw some Hyperion movement out in Tundra Express, so Bloodwing and I checked it out. Didn't realize we were walking into a trap. Bloodwing gave me time to get away, but Bastard described her. Brought her here. Rolling echoed ahead. 
all my data is on a chip in my bird blood wings collar. Do it on the clap trap upgrade.
A start. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. 
27 years. For 27 years, you've been using me to keep these people frightened, haven't you? You don't understand! Shut up! You didn't want me to protect this planet. You wanted me to keep it scared. Keep me locked up so these people would do what you asked. No, but you found the slag samples? Fantastic. Leave them with Roland once you finish whatever irrelevant thing you're doing right now. Want Bloodwing back, huh? Shame. I've been doing some really interesting iridium experiments with her. Hate to see her go, but heck with it. She's all yours. This is a song for Mordecai's right, stupid sweet, bird. Found it. All right, right. This is a song for Mordecai's yeah. stupid bird. Yeah. Are you a screw you? Would have been hilarious if I found it earlier. Shut up! In addition to being highly entertaining, the data you found may hold the key to stopping the spread of slag poisoning. Buddy! What the hell are you? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Holy stat sex! I'm invisible! This is you! I, I can't! Minion! Give me five! Oh, right. You burned it! Great. Claptrap can get a 
us through the Angel's security field now. Come on back. We may have a way past the bunker. Damn. Yeah. Remember? I'm sorry. Take, Take this, this note to Thousand. Thousand. You're, You're going, going to deliver that note to a bandit leader known as the Slab King. King. Now, he used to be a part of the Crimson Raiders until his methods got too brutal. I didn't think ripping and tearing officials limb from limb in front of their loved ones was an effective way to get into. He disagreed. Still, he owes me a favor, and he can help us get past the bunker outside Control Core Angel. Got a quest for you. Bloodwing's dead. Jack's nearly got the vault open. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Or... More like a lot of drinks. The Hodunks run Rack Ale out of the dust. Blast the kegs off one of their booze runners and get them for me. I'm trying to write a love poem for this chick, Daisy, but I'm even in for writing. Something to get my juices flowing, so this poem get her juices flowing. That's sex. Use this camera to take some pictures of Itch's landmarks that I could toss in the poem, would you? Sucking down more rack ale, huh? Did the same thing after he and I split up, poor kid. Bring me the booze instead, and I'll give you my prized revolver, Ruby. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Moxie's giving you Ruby if you give her my booze? That friggin' that bimbo lost Ruby years ago, and I found it. She wouldn't even have it if it weren't for me. No, no, no. Bring me the booze, and I'll give you one of my old sniper rifles. working in the Hyperion Preserve are still alive. You're gonna fix that. When I was doing recon out there, I heard them experimenting on three badass creatures. Get out there and free them. I want to see a bloodbath for what they that did to my bird. The creatures ought to help you tear up the engineers. Make it bloody. I found a potential vault hunter, sir. 
You'll definitely want to hear this. She's a siren. What? Unlike Lilith, she seems to have no connection to Iridium. Creatures or Security forces dispatched. I'm a better shot when I'm drunk anyway. That's just the beginning. Every Hyperion bastard.
Moxie weren't turning me, I'd kill you myself. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It begins! It begins! Like you down.
Pretty cool. 
Trollcore Angel is at the top of that mountain. That's where the vault is being held. The Slab King is up on the other cliff. He can help us get past the bunker. Intruder! Look out! Intruder! Intruder, huh? Sounds like I'm hitting another assassin. All right, boys! Fight like badasses or die like this! You'll have to fight through the slabs, Cerise. I tried to keep to myself, but no! You are period bastards! Have you come after me? You just had it to kill Dusty! You wanna treat me like a bandit? That's exactly what I'm- Dusty was just a puppy! Almost as nice as my first dog! You let your boss know I'm gonna do to him exactly what he did to her! Except Snow White. You- What do you mean they ain't from her period? Oh, must be a new recruit! Alright boys! Let's put him through the ringer! Oh yeah. Um, the Slab King won't talk to you unless you join his game. So just survive whatever initiation he's got planned for you, and then give him that note. In the face! Not so complex! We've got some satellite footage from Ovejas taken shortly before our occupation force arrived. Play it. Thank you! I want to hear his next snap! Salvador. For the murders of the men known as Blunt Crack, Crawl Friday, and Spitzstain, you will now be hanged by the neck until dead. Have you last words in your defense? They were bandits! They tried to kill me, Abuela! Yes, yes, yes. You have attempted to convince your fellow... You to my door, old recruit! But now it's time Stop for the real so hard. Slap! Rip of Beginning of something awesome. Oh my! Oh, why am I on fire?
So what you want? You are the biggest badass of all. <laughs> I was wondering when Roland would call in that favor. So, the Bunker. Great job. With the Bricks crew on our side, we should have an easier time getting past the Bunker and protecting Angel. Come on back and we'll see about getting through that door that'll only open for Jack. Let me get the door for you. So, the Vault Hunter met the Slabs. What a lovely opportunity to kill two bandits with one mortar assault. Targeting beacons initialized. Beginning mortar bombardment. He's using mortars again! He's using mortars! Oh, crap! He's slapped! We gotta stop those gotta mortars stop or there won't be there nobody left to help you with the bunker! With the bunker. As required. Enemy engaged. Repent as needed. Engaging. Follow me! Just so you know, my slabs will probably still try to kill you because they're freaking idiots. Don't feel bad about killing them. I never do. Woo-wee! I got the nudie bags. Worst case scenario, I still got something to pass the time. Is that a bandit spooning with the robot? That is some artsy fartsy bullcrap, my friend. Just get you out of there. He's going to the poem. Robots and sex stuff. Woo oh boy, that bandit hung himself from his own tombstone. It's dark, it's depressing. I don't understand what I'm talking about. It's perfect. Putting that in the poem. Oh, alone 
guys. Considering how badass you must be to have blown me away, I'd say you deserve them. I know this sounds like some sort of trap, <laughs> but you're just gonna have to trust me. I need to build you an extra arm just for high five. Trap! High line! Nobody kills me and gets away with it! Nobody! Here it comes, big boy! Rolling. Brick. That was the dog's bollocks! To be honest, I got no idea how to get past a door that'll only open for Jack. Sorry to interrupt, but we've little time. Get to the City of Opportunity. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in Opportunity, I can get you through that door. As much as I hate telling you to listen to her, Angel's the best lead we got. You already know not to trust her, but be careful. I'm gonna stay here in Sanctuary for the long haul, but my slabs still need some stuff done back in Thousand Cuts. So go meet with Rocco. He's a total tool, but at least he won't try to kill you. Got something new. Jack's broadcasting a 24-hour stream of propaganda to every family in the Sixth Galaxy, telling them to immigrate to that big-ass city he's building. You're gonna show them what a bad idea that really is. Go borrow Moxie's camcorder. You want my camera, huh? You can borrow it on one beach. Anything you shoot better involve naked flesh or explosions. Bonus points for both. Great. Take, Take that, that camera to opportunity. And, uh, make, make sure you don't look at Moxie's footage. Wanna hurt? Jack destroyed my underdome after I dumped him. And now he wants to build his own arena just to rub it in my face. We're not gonna let that happen, sugar. Get out to opportunity and kill the construction foreman who's running the project. I knew I hadn't, I hadn't heard, heard the last of that gun. gun. I, I bought it off a guy a few months ago. ago. Great, Great gun, gun, but it's cursed. I, I sold it to a bandit named Horus.
I'm told there's a new bandit in town. If you're hearing this, kiddo, please don't die right away. I've always wanted to duel a vault hunter. Every day, the sheriff of Lynchwood sends whatever iridium she's yanked from the mines back to Jack. That stops today. You're gonna blow up the train that she uses to transport the stuff. Get to the demolition depository. might become as civilized as opportunity or not to be believed. Let Jack have his ivory towers. I came to Pandora for action. Damn it! Everybody stop raiding the mine! Iridium is Hyperion's number one priority, so if you attack the miners or steal their equipment, the sheriff will come down on you. Don't give her a reason. Now that you got the lecture, it's time to find some explosives. 
That may be my favorite sentence I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, there should be a bandit around there named Mad Dog. So, it's love to toss dynamite at my slabs when they came into town. Take him out and get his boomers. We got what we need to make a bomb ball. Go slap the ball down outside of Skag Den. Explosives, huh? That ought to be fun. Don't hit the detonator until it's right on top of the train. Hell yeah! No more iridium coming out of Lynchwood now, that's for sure. Let me know when you're ready for the next thing. Gotta say, that's pretty irritating. The iridium mines, half the reason this town exists. Well, credit where credit's due. You really know how to push my buttons. I hear that after Brick escaped our custody, he tracked down the guy who betrayed New Haven to Hyperion. Somebody named Shep Sanders. Brick gouged his eyes out with his thumbs and cracked his skull open like an egg, all while poor Shep screamed for mercy. Her friend Roland kicked him out of Sanctuary after that. You've all had to treat your different than bandits. But you're not. did have a flair for the dramatic. Made a real scene of it when he escaped my jail. Blew it sky high, swore revenge for what Jack and I did to him, except we turned him into a man at the moment we killed his dog. Getting in with you, I think, is gonna be much simpler for both of us. I die or you do. No! Let me know when you're ready for the next job.
remind you all of the individual punishments for breaking her 283 laws. I read the whole list, but I'm just gonna go ahead and save us all the time. Death. The punishment for everything is death. So please keep your head down and be cool. Sir, I may have found another potential. He's a commando. Oh, yeah? Where is he now? He's been- You've robbed my bank, shot at my town, and destroyed my train! Tougher than Brett. specified a lot. Fair enough. What are you looking so sad for? You're still making more money than anyone around here will see in six months. Ah, it's not the money. It was just easy, you know? Too easy. What's the matter? You didn't get enough glory in the military? Oh, there was plenty of glory. Just the kind that winds you up on this hellhole of a planet. Angel, are we hearing this live right now? Yes. And why? Get the Hyperion Truth Network on the line now. Hey, you dumbass vault hunter pal is here, Brick. Shut up, Rocco. All right, Slab. A Hyperion supply just landed in our turf instead of Jack's. 
Jack wants to destroy the supplies so we can't use them. You've got to stop it. Take Rocco's flags. I marked some key defense points. Drop a flag on any of them, and my slabs will know where they gotta go and what kind of firepower they gotta bring. <laughs> Looking good. Now get up to the big ass turn on the central tower. The Hyperion Corporation wishes to extend an olive branch, murderer. Should you considerably lower this world's bandit population, Hyperion is willing to reward you with a unique gun crafted just for you. Oh! 
Here, a man. Uh. 
You have fulfilled Hyperion's contract. You're not gonna like what the road now. to a unique weapon. Please return for your reward. Enjoy the Hyperion XKCD experimental weapon. Custom designed for a murderer like yourself. <laughs> Me 
To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in opportunity, I can get you through that door. Every good war is one in the mind. So long as Jack's got those propagandastic statues of himself around opportunity, we can't truly win this war. Go, minion! Blast those statues to bits! The statues are bulletproof! You win this war, and I'm a Crap, Sanders! Minion, I need you to fix the opportunity drop zone for the activated constructor. Then, you can use it to cut through the statues for you! Fly beacon to the big crane past the waterfront quarter. Once you call in a drop, the moonshot will destroy the crane. Should look great on film. Cool! You found a constructor! Just bring him back up and he ought to treat you as an ally! You'll be like his mommy! His gun toting, profanity spewing mommy! He's waking up! Great! Trust the vault hunter, robot! Alright! The constructor's working again! Make sure to protect it while it's wrecking the statues! Did you know littering and opportunity is punishable by death? If not, you also ought to know complaining about opportunity's laws is considered verbal littering. Uh, what are you doing now, tool? Vandalism? Are you serious? That's how you got it. Hey, you know what book I'm reading now? It's called 101 Ways to 
forcibly make vandals eat their own entrails. I'll let you borrow it sometime. Did you know your chances of being disemboweled increased by 80,000% upon leaving opportunity? It's a scientific fact.
those lures, you can trick those surveyor bots to fire whatever you want. Oh, if you slap the lures on some jack propaganda, the surveyors should crash into them. Could be fun. <laughs> of your hard work. Right. Actually, it looks like that was the only thing on the list. Still, sound advice. Your work's done. Doubt anyone will be in a hurry to move here now. Come on back. Your eyes upon the paradise that awaits you in opportunity. A world filled. Sounds like that key was just the right size. See if there's anything useful in there. If I know my explosives, and I'd like to think I do, you could use those charges to flood the construction site. Right on, robot. If you blow up the nearby retaining wall and flood those pits, I'd be awful grateful. Oh, balloon tits is still holding a grudge against me, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, I get it. Yes, Once you eat and prime for it for free, it's hard to go back to sucking down hamburgers for cash. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Dicks! I'm talking about dicks! <laughs> Get away from the explosives, sugar. They're gonna make a big boom. My construction side! Ah, oh, for Moxie, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard Jack that angry since I kicked his plastic surgery ass to the curb. Come on back, sugar. <clears throat> That's one of the body doubles Jack uses to confuse assassins and press his underlings. <laughs> Grab the pocket watch device he dropped. It echoes his biosignature to every machine in the immediate area, so his doubles can do all of his hand kissing and baby shaking for him. That pocket watch also records audio. Jack loved to listen to the praise of his followers. He had to create a voice modulator so he could speak in Jack's voice. Get to an info kiosk. Did you know that some people on this planet still will even sit in the shoes of the angels? We like to call them bandits. Yes, this is going to work. If I get a few more samples of Jack's voice, I can make a voice modulator for you. You need to get more voice samples. Hey, kids, did you know your chances of being disemboweled increased by 80,000% upon leaving opportunity? It's a scientific fact. I almost have what I need. Just activate a few more kiosks. Did you know you're staring at the future side of the opportunity pleasure palace? That's right, for a thousand bucks, you'll be able to spend an hour with a life-size likeness of me. But why would... 
would you build a metropolis in the middle of a abandoned infested wasteland? I, I don't understand, sir. Uh, of course you don't, because you're as lacking in vision as you are in brain cells. Hey, kids, did you know what your mommies and daddies gave up so your family could live in opportunity? Literally nothing! Your family is paid to be here! I'm the one who feeds and protects everyone! Remember, we should all love our parents, but love me more. Did you know littering and opportunity is punishable by death? If not, you also ought to know that learning about opportunity's laws is considered verbal littering. Attach the pocket watch quickly. Remember, workers, there's no help me, I'm bleeding internally and need to see a doctor in team. High quality, low price. I see the files. Pleasure, the good luck. All done. Now grab the voice modulator. Great. Now, unfortunately, you will speak in Jack's voice until you reach the security door. I will tell you the password to open it at the appropriate time. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. And now I have the voice of a douchebag. Great. Testing. You seriously thought you could hide from me, Angel? Is that what you thought? Say goodbye to your friend, Angel. Say it. See you soon. You found a way past the final door to Angel's control core, huh? Well, she's kept up her part of the bargain, surprisingly. Time to return the favor. Come on back and we'll steal ourselves a vault key. No oh god, I'm gonna throw up. Nothing like a little vengeance to round out the day. I appreciate it, darling. Business hasn't been so hot since Hyperion rolled into town. They talk big about cleaning up the wasteland and civilizing... How generous of you. Here, this is my favorite gun. You'll understand. Robots that can't dance? Ew. This isn't a discussion. You're not going without me, period. Look, I need you here protecting Sanctuary. If this turns out to be a trap, I need you to keep these people safe. Is this because Angel told me not to come? It is, isn't it? Lilith, damn it, would you just trust me, okay? If you get killed, I'm gonna be really pissed. Noted. If you live, I'm tearing those clothes right off your body. Ah, Lilith, also, you're standing right here. Also noted. Nobody wants to hear that. Go on. Oh, this is it, everybody. Lilith, Mordecai. You're protecting the city. Brick will provide air support from Thousand Cuts, and I'll climb up to Control Core Angel from the cliff face. Any questions? Yeah. Why ain't I going? I gotta pay Hyperion back for Bloodwing. And you will, but for now, I need you protecting Sanctuary in case this is just another trap. You'll get your payback, Mordecai. I promise. As long as you say so, Roland. Vault Hunter, we have a shot at stealing the Vault Key and stopping Jack from waking the Warrior. All you have to do is get past the force field that'll atomize you, destroy a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent, and get through a door you can't possibly open. That's his way of saying we're probably gonna die. It's time to get Claptrap to Thousand Cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. Make it painful, guys. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> FYI. It may take some serious convincing to get Claptrap to head to Thousand Cuts. Minion! Let's go to Thousand Cuts! Or not. I enlisted you as my minion, then Angel just happened to attack Sanctuary. Don't you get it? Jack was coming after me! It's time to take the fight to him! I'll meet you in Thousand Cuts! Got 
Let's make some more capital. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough.
Watu Barada Nikto! I just found these new guys. Robot one, uglies zero.
Minion, I've started my attack. I'm gonna tag every inch of this mountain if it's the last thing I do. Let's go. We're gonna make Jack regret ever setting up shop on this cliff. It'll take him minutes to wash this graffiti off. Minutes, I say! <laughs> hey, you coming or not? Oh, right. You're not a Hyperion robot. I forget that sometimes. Engineer alive! Robot one, uglies zero.
see, a few years back, Wilhelm and I paid a visit to your little friend Tannis, and we beat her for hours. We ripped it out of her broken fingers. But we let her live, because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. Slab, you're coming up on the bunker. I'm sending some of my boys to help you out. Eyes to the sky, Slab! My buzzards are coming in! Take out those auto cannons, Slab! They're tearing up your air support! You won't fight better much in that anywhere else. I bet you're of that. That force field protects the final door to my chambers. It will only deactivate once you've destroyed the bunker. <laughs> Alright, fun time's over, kitties. Breaking his mouth breathers couldn't bust my bunker, and neither can you! <laughs> <laughs> some flimsy turrets? You see, you're not at the bunker right now. The bunker isn't a place. That's the bunker. Meet the BNK-3R, the greatest defense bot ever built. Designed her myself. Now do me a favor and die.
If you can access the door to my chambers, move quickly. Preparing Bioscan. Please stand on the Hyperion emblem. <laughs> Scanning Biosignature. <laughs> Biosignature confirmed. Hello, Sexy. <laughs> Awaiting password. The password is... I love you. That voice modulator had better work or this will all be for nothing. I love you. Access granted. Consider this your final warn- No, consider this my final warning. Turn around and I promise I'll make it quick. But I swear, you take one more step, every soul back in Sanctuary will die staring at their own lungs as I rip them from their chests. Iridium alone could never charge the vault key. It needs a catalyst, something to awaken its power. It needs a siren. Jack acquired his siren catalyst a long time ago. He kept her hidden from the world for years, but finally, you will be able to set her free. Mm -hmm. I detect you're getting close. Hurry and reach me. You must get the vault key and deal with me. Executing phase shift. The key is here, but to truly stop Jack from waking the warrior, you cannot just steal the vault key. You must destroy his catalyst. You must destroy. Me. Jack, Jack spent, spent years, years pumping, pumping me full of iridium, iridium using, using me to charge, to charge his key and manipulate, and manipulate his enemies, his enemies. Destroying, destroying the iridium, iridium injectors that keep me alive, alive. will stop, we'll stop the key, the key from, from charging, and it will, and it will end, end a lifetime, lifetime of servitude. Now, you get the hell away from my door! <laughs> Thank you. 
to their own daughter. The kind of guy who deserves to die. She's dead. Jack just lost his only way to awaken the warrior. We got the Vault King, but this isn't over yet. We gotta find Jack and take him out. Lily, take the Vault King to Tannis. I'm going after Jack. 
son. You bastard! I'm gonna... Language? What's that saying? Don't pick a fight with a man with nothing left to lose. See, I'm gonna show you just how much you have to lose. And I got the most powerful siren on the planet to do it with. Lilith, kill the Vault Hunter. We've got a date to keep with the warrior. Do it, Lilith. No! What happened? What the hell just happened? First Blood Wing, now this? Vault Hunter, find me a sanctuary. We gotta get Lilith back. Wow. Wing, but he is not gonna kill Lilith. Jack still needs time to charge the bulk. You just need to find out where this warrior is buried. There's only one place on Pandora that had that kind of info. The Hyperion Info Stockade. Get there. Got the folks in Sanctuary don't know about Roland. Almost none of them would still be alive if it weren't for him. So... People of Pandora, my daughter is dead. Murdered by the Vault Hunter. So I've decided I'm rescinding the bounty on the Vault Hunter. If you should kill that child murdering son of a bitch before I do, I will find you, and you will regret denying me my vengeance. Rollins. Rollins. Dead. Dead. Oh. oh. Me and him, Me and him didn't see I die most, most of the time. He never liked he never how liked I sold guns, I sold to, guns to the bandits. But I would have but died, would in, have New died in New Haven if it weren't for him. He was a... He was a... This he was a good wrong. man. He was a good man. Roland Oh, God. I remember the first, <laughs> first time we met. I healed him up after he killed some of Nine Toes men. He seemed nice enough, quiet, but damn, I'm sorry. He deserved better. I tell you, man, I'll never forget that time when all them jumped on his wife's gully. It was good times. Hell, man, I'm sad. Is this what Sam feels like? You kill the crap out of Jack. You hear? Jack killed Roland? Son of a bitch! He helped me take care of Mr. Shank, and unlike, well, damn near everyone around here, he always behaved like a gentleman. I don't... I don't know what to say. Damn it, am I crying? Had Roland not forced me to relocate to Sanctuary, I would not be alive today. I am unpleasantly surprised to find that I am sorry that Roland is dead. Sorry about blood, my boy. Sorry to bum you out like that, but somebody needed to tell him. I've transmitted the code to Roland's armory to your echo device. If anyone deserves what's in there, it ought to be the badass who's gonna avenge him. <laughs> Don't let this all be for nothing, amigo. Find Jack. Kill Jack. I don't, I don't just want to steal, steal the, the song. Song. Oh, man, 
I will, I will steal, steal their, pride. their pride. You will fly our slab flags over their camps in Sawtooth Cauldron. And, and we'll show Mortar's men who the real badasses are. You know what's great about you. You don't, you don't ask, ask questions. questions. If you give me a few creature parts and never ask why, ever, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> This is the uh, 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 Vault Hunter? Little help. Little help. Look, it's Look, a long, it's story. long story. No, no it's, a, it's short a short story. story. I write, I write short, short stories. stories. We, were we were supposed to divide and take four ways, ways. But, somebody but somebody up and make it before we split it up. it up. Oh, those idiots still screaming at each other? Marshall Freeman here. If, if you want to do me a solid and shut those morons up so I can get back to my nap, that... Know that only one of them will tell you the truth. The other three are liars. If you could figure out which one of them robbed the other and pop in the head for me, that'd be awesome. Look, between you and me, a pantler's a thief. When we were making out, he was all, yeah, baby, I'm gonna steal all that money. And I was like, no, don't do that. And he's like, oh, yeah, baby, I'm gonna. And I was like, that's so wrong. Look, given what we know about human consciousness, I can be certain of only one thing. I didn't steal the money. I know my own mind, and I know my mind didn't steal it. If I knew everyone else's minds, I might be able to help you a bit more, but sadly, I can only speak for myself, and I'm doing that now. Speaking to say that I didn't steal the money. Sam's full of crap. Sam stole the cash, without question, after she and O'Cantler were done celebrating our successful heist. I saw her stuff the loot down her pants! Huh. Guess, Guess Jim, Jim did, did steal, steal the cash. cash. But we were friends! That's sad. But maybe we... Maybe we learned something. Yeah, we hey, learned that Jim stole the cash. Thanks for 75% of us. Take this. <laughs> And now, for the latest edition of This Just In with Hunter Hellquist. This is Hyperion Truth Broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, we have won. With the death of Roland and the capture of Lilith, the resistance is no more. The remaining forces are all divided, confused, demoralized. Once and for all, I've got an up. I was making change for some idiot named Kai a few weeks back. I gave him a pen instead of the one. I need you to track him down and get the nine bucks he owes me. He was mumbling into an echo device when he came in. Maybe you can track him by finding his transmissions.
like she was new mom or something. I don't know. <laughs> not conform to my rip.
I knew you'd make me proud. Come on back. Refunds? My God. I'm never drinking rack ale again. Intruders detected. Locking path to info stockade. Damn it! Jack doesn't want us getting close to Brick, got a plan to get to the stockade? Blow stuff up! That's my plan! Vault Hunter, get the sawtooth cauldron. Meat puppies! They come to the slaughter! My like boys can <laughs> blast open the path to the info stockade, mm -hmm. but they mm -hmm. need some better firepower. You're gonna steal some explosives for them. Hi. I don't want to kill you, which is kind of weird. I need your help. Oh, I should have a name. Humans have names. I bet I'm malfunctioning like the dickens, so how about Mal? Hi, I'm a robot, and I don't like that. Could you help me become human? Maybe? I don't wear clothes, oh, but I, I see humans wearing legs. lots of clothes. Could you get me clothes from those bad like guys nearby? I don't wear so many clothes, I'll Thank be the best you. human ever. I oh. I oh. Oh. You have a timeout. Yay, clothes! Ooh, swanky! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. You shoot me yeah. like yeah. and that way too! Yeah. Oh. Oh. That looks great! Great! You got clothes! Thanks for getting all those clothes! Bring the clothes back to me, Mal, and I'll wear the clothes! Thanks! I am now wearing the clothes! I think I look great! Ooh, vanity! That's very human! So, why don't I feel human? Fun. Mm. I know why I still don't feel human! I don't have limbs! I hear those bandits have tons of limbs to spare! You could ask them for a few! We humans love choices! Always time.
Some slabs trying to fly his colors over our turn. Tear him apart! Terminated! so they can't lower our flag.
Treasure was in Old Haven. Not anymore. Mine. Scatter the map. Give it to bandits. Nobody will ever find it. Never. Whoa. Oh. Sounds like that girl was talking about the lost bandit treasure of Old Haven. If you find the pieces of the map, you could be the first person to pick it up. Let's keep this going. Sounds like bandits have the map pieces, but there's no way to know which one's got it. Let's go. 
into a stolen loop they stashed somewhere. I want everything you can Oh, 
and wait till the info stockade is open. Get in there and find out where Jax got Little and the Warrior. Why are you doing that? I'm going to pay a visit to the Hyperion outpost. Hurry up and wait. See if I can't steal some heavy armor for our final assault on Jack. See that building with the light shooting out of it? That's the info stockade. We're going to get you there through the main Iridium pipeline. Head there now. There should be a ladder on the side of the pipe leading to a maintenance hatch. That to get inside the pipeline. It'll be messy, but it'll lead you to the stockade. Take that, you stupid wreck! Try dropping a deuce on my outrunner now! Chosen one. Ah. Ah. Explain it to me again. Like I said, instead of punching, I prefer to keep my distance from the target, pick my moment, and kill them with a single well-placed shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You lost me yet, instead of punching. <laughs> I wish I, I had, had more warriors, warriors, like, warriors like, you. like you. Between us, between us, the rest of these, the slabs, rest of these slabs are kind of useless. Kinda useless. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to those Hyperion newscasters say so you're killing kids, 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 kids. I found the guy who was recording them. He's in the, He's in the area nexus. nexus. Pay, Pay him, him a visit and set the record, record straight. straight. You gotta take Jack's face. Hey. Why are you giving me all these bloody body limbs that I no way asked for? Please take these hundred dollar bills as a sign of my disgust. So, uh, yeah, funny story. Uh, those projects I was working on, uh, they're kind of, uh, loose. Do me a solid and get rid of them, would you? You know, if you really think about it, uh, this is kind of your fault. Uh, my rat might not get you there last. This just in, Pandora. The bandit scum who killed Jack's this daughter just in, has just Pandora. set the old the Haven orphanage scum. ablaze. It's you! requested at Hyperion Truth Network. Deploying.
After heroically opening the vault and destroying the evil inside, our beloved leader, Handsome Jack, dispatched miners, surveyors, soldiers, and engineers to the savage mortar planet. Jack wishes to assure the populace that Hyperion will bring peace and order to the lawless hell that Pandora has become. Bandits, psychos, these will be a thing of the past. With Hyperion in charge, Pandora can look forward to a very bright future indeed. Thanks for accepting my job. 
Hyperion robbed my Uncle Teddy and sent him to die on this armpit of a planet. I need you to search his cabin in the arid nexus for something I can use to avenge his death. You'll need to access my uncle's secret lab. Find some evidence that Hyperion stole his weapon designs. God is my witness for the Faha clan is getting what's on it. There's a hidden lever somewhere that'll get you into Teddy's basement. Teddy, like a lot of people on Pandora, evidently, kept all his echo correspondence. Find something that proves. Well, first day on Pandora, life's not too happy about the food, but I sure think she'll be all right. This here's the beginning of our new life. <laughs> Documents to the Hyperion Corporation, we can offer more than what Mr. Baja's niece can pay. A fine Hyperion armament, for example. Don't listen to those corporate thieves. We both know my uncle deserves justice. And I'll throw in the first gun Uncle Teddy ever made for me. Thank you. Hyperion's gonna have to spend billions in legal fees once this hits the courts. I'm sorry I can't offer you more. Never hurts to know more about the man you're killing. While you're in the Nexus, grab whatever files you can on Jack. I don't understand, Daddy. Say hello to your new home, darling. Success. And this is your throne. No, Mommy. Where's Mommy? She's not coming back, Angel. No, take her a freaking chair. I don't want to. It's all good. There we go. In the chair. Okay, and any candidates today, Angel? There are four treasure hunters who arrived on a shuttle several hours ago. They are currently on a bus to Firestone. Great. Say this to him. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. The bus is still moving, sir. Shut up! Tell them! John, why have you dispatched one of our satellites to Pandora? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, sir, uh, the energy readings my, uh, instruments, uh, at home are getting from Pandora are... Get out of there at once, you hideous little code monkey, and shut off that satellite! Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Tasker. It won't happen again, sir. Now, now, Mr. 
Yeah, I know you think I'm a monster, you think I enslaved Angel, but you didn't see what she did to her mother. I had to restrain Angel's power. You get that? I had to. And I'm sure he had to exploit her for profit and power, too. Don't listen, Vault Hunter. He killed Angel long before he pulled the plug. Another day, another unsuccessful genetic abomination. Good on you. Things should be a lot easier for us without that windbag spouting lies every day. Ready for some new toys, bud? Jack, Lilith, and the warrior are in Hero's Pass, so that's where we're headed. This is the final fight, amigo. You gotta prepare, do it now. Check around, check around the city. The city. These, people, These don't people don't have much, they still want, they still to, want to help you. Hyperius locked the entrance to Hero's, Hero's Pass. Get, get back, back to Claptrap. Clap we need him to open, open a way for you. Brickin, I will meet, I will meet you, you once you're in. We're Win no or lose. lose. We're, We're gonna, gonna finish, finish this together. together. For Bloodwing. For Roland. For Pandora! Though I generally, Though I generally have, have trouble verbalizing, verbalizing my thoughts into words, words that will not utterly confuse or nauseate you, you. My, mind, my mental processes are now, are now surprisingly focused. focused. I have only, I have two, only words two words for you. For you. Perhaps the most the important two words ever, ever spoken on Pandora. On Pandora. Kill, Kill Jack! Jack. Here. Here, this may this help you in your efforts to put a hilariously large hole in Jack's face. I ain't the best with words, but I just want you to know I'm rooting for you out there. Jack kicked me out of my home back in Firestone. It's about time he got what's coming to him. Here, thought you could use this. Get your health and shields right here.
Paul Hunter comes by, you make sure to give him my love, all right? Uh, hey, man. Ellie and I were just talking about you. Now you, you make sure to come back alive, okay? And if you can, come back with Jack said on the pike. <laughs> you hear? What Scooter said? I would have hollered at some bitches Gordon and ain't next shows out of it. Oh, nearly forgot. Ellie and I got something for you. Hope it helps. Jack's monopoly, monopoly on weapons, weapons running, running me out of business. business. But that's, that's not why I want him dead. dead. I want him dead because, because he's a greedy, greedy murdering son, son of a bitch, bitch who needs, who needs to, to die, die screaming. screaming. Good, Good luck. luck. Here, Here, you might, you might need, need this. this. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just blow your mind? <laughs> I've had just, just about enough of that handsome, handsome jackass, jackass sugar. Get rid, Get rid of him, him and you'll never pay for another, another drink again. again. Here, Here, I got some wet for you. Your name's Zemzy. Well, my, well, my old friend, friend, I wish you the best. You stay May you return from your quest with handsome blood on your hands and a smile on your face. Oh, and lest I forget, here you are. Thought it could be of some use. I wish your poem it goes a little something like this. Break it down! <clears throat> kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack! Kill Jack, a poem by Tiny Tina. It's time to end this! I'll meet you out in the Iridium Light! Feel that, feel that. The electricity the in the air when you just choose to murder someone. someone. Haven't felt that in such a long such a time. time. You do what you have to to stop him from waking that warrior, even if it means taking me out. Better dead than a damsel. Brick and I will meet you out in Heroes Pass. When I lose, we're gonna finish this together. We might not make it, Slab. But I want you to know, <laughs> it's been a hell of a lot of fun. Welcome to the Circle of Slaughter.
Engineer a Must be for planning. 
This is it, Minion! Our vengeance is finally at hand! Let's tear this planet a new soul! Yeah! Hyperion's gonna regret ever setting foot on Pandora! Minion, I'm gonna get that door open so I can take care of that handsome bastard myself! Do you hear me, Jack? You killed my friends! You destroyed my product line! I am the last claptrap in existence, and I am going to T-Bang your cards! <laughs> ah! Minion! You hold the fire with your face while I pull my way over to the door control! Denied. What? I said and open, not and close a secondary set of doors. Dispatching additional troops. No! Don't dispatch regular troops! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, pretty female voice! Additional door defenses. Turrets deployed. Dispatching additional troops. Thank <laughs> you. 
dispatching additional troops. How many of these guys are there? That is an incoming! Eat metal death!
This is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your vault hunter friends I said hey. Hey, you're right on time. Key's nearly ready. But before I cleanse this planet for good, I'm gonna avenge my daughter. yet. <laughs> You're too late, bandit! I win! <laughs> the greatest alien power Pandora has ever seen. <laughs> and it's mine to control! Come on! 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 Come on!
on the moonshot console. Look out, boys! Look at that. Don't screw with a girl and a robot. You are a mean machine. Finally over. Good going, Vault Hunter. My eye are a bad eye. Now, gotta get rid of that key. I am the greatest engineer alive. Wait a second. Let me. You don't want to touch this thing right now, trust me. Slow down, man. I nearly bought it back there. Hey, Lilith! Where the hell were you guys five minutes ago? If it weren't for the Vault Hunter, we'd all be dead. I think that's her way of saying we won. Hey, yeah, I figured that. If I never see this key again, it'll be too soon. It's been fun, you alien piece of shit. <laughs> What the... Are those vaults? <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> no rest for the wicked.